Hello again, this is Paul Abrahams from Learn Jazz Piano Online. This is the third episode in the series Easy Steps to Learn Jazz Piano. In the first episode, I just took you through 5-1, the actual notes, finding them on the keyboard. Dominant to tonic, tension to release. For instance, G goes up a perfect fourth to C, F goes up a perfect fourth to B flat, etc. In the second episode, we turn these two notes into chords, and the first chord is the dominant seventh, leading to the tonic, the one. So now we have, for example, G7 to C major or C minor. D7 moving up to G major or minor. In this third episode, we're going to move on to the classic sequence two five one the first chord will be a minor the second chord will be a dominant seventh and the third chord can be major or minor for instance if we started on a minor seventh the second chord would be d7 and the resolving chord would be g major or g minor let's start with a recap of the F major scale, numbering it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The 5 is the C and the 1 is the F. We then turn these into two chords and these two chords derived from what I call the family row. F major 7 is 1, G minor 7 is 2, A minor 7 is 3, B flat major 7 is 4, C7 is 5, D minor 7 is 6, and E half diminished is 7. And the 5 is the C7, or the dominant 7th, and the 1 is the F major 7th. So going from 5 to 1, We now move on to the 251. So the number 2 is the G, and as we found, if you move to the 2 chord, it's a G minor 7. So 251, let's start with the notes. 251, G, C, F. And now the three chords are G minor 7th, C 7th, F major 7th. Let's now turn these into some voicings. Our first chord, G minor 7, my right hand is playing three, five, seven, nine with just a G root in the left hand. The C7, B flat is the seven, D is the nine, E is the three, and if we leave this A where it is, it becomes the six or the 13. Resolving it, three, five, seven, nine in F major seventh. So practice these 251 sequences in different keys and subscribe to my full course on www.learnjazzpianoonline.com.